All right, check this out, y'all. What I got here is I got these uh, Power Gig RPG 08 2K monitors here. They come with a microphone. They come with an auxiliary cable. I believe an antenna plug. Like if you want to listen to like FM FM radio, FM AM radio. It also comes with, you know, remote control. All right, y'all. So now we're going to get into unboxing these speakers. So I can show y'all what we got here. So. They come box pretty good. Now you see that. Move it out a little bit. I'm going to show you everything that's in the box. speaker stands and I'll set up see it says speaker stand <laughs> all right this nice thick stand right here actually good stand there we go got the stand there and you can adjust it how high or how low you want to stand just by pulling it up or pushing it down. Stick one stand over here. There we go. Then you do the same with the other ones. You pull it open, and then you just push it down and adjust it to whatever you think you need there. And then it has this piece here you can pull up as high as you want it and then kind of lock it in place now open this stuff up see what else it comes with They're pretty heavy Got a speaker in this box Got a nice little handle and just pull them right out. Look at that. Look at all that. You get an EQ for treble and bass. You get, you know, the mic level. You can plug a mic in here. You get auxiliary, radio, AM, FM. You got a place for your SD card. You got USB. You got speaker output for your other speaker. I mean, you can sit this on a dresser. You could sit this on the stand, which is what it's supposed to be. And you could throw a nice little sheen ding with this. You know, you can have a nice little speakeasy or whatever it is you're into. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah. And you can get down with these speakers. Do they sit on the floor? I'll show you. As soon as I get this stand to come up, I'm going to adjust it. Let me show you what I'm doing. All right. So, you got the stand here, pick the speaker up, and it's got these little grooves here, like a little, stick this thing in a little groove, but you got to turn the, you got to back the screw all the way out. Once you back the screw all the way out, sit it down on this thing here. And once you hear it, I'm going to make sure it's all the way up there though. Oh, there we go. And once you hear that little snap, then you just tighten the back of it down. And then make sure that your power, and you also got XLR, you know, the ground for the out. So I'm telling you, these are, I should have done some affiliate marketing on these because I know y'all going to go get you a pair. 
I got a lot of, I got a few uh, musicians on my page and some, you know, got to look out for the church folk too now. <laughs> All right. So that's one speaker I got hooked up there. Okay. So now let me go over here. Let me show y'all what you get in the box. Get nice little XLR cables here. Nice cables. Yeah. Put them up there. Get you a got a remote control. You got a nice remote with the tuner and everything up there. You got the a white cable for the antenna so you can listen to the regular radio. You got a nice manual. Rockville's a good company. Matter of fact, I got some studio monitors that I use, you know, for record music. That's how much I trust them. But this is just, you know, I might put some turntables up here and do the ew, 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 ew. you dig what I'm saying. Alright. So that's that. Go ahead and get the other speaker out and show you the rest of the accessories that come with it. So it has some more stuff in here. Whoa, you understand what I'm saying? I'm gonna drop the speaker. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Y'all need to see what's going on in the box. Okay. There we go. Basically, this monitor, you just reach in here and just pull it out. You'll notice one is slightly lighter than the other one. And that's only because that one had all the all that stuff, EQ, stuff like that. So now I'm just turning the knob at the bottom. And you can see the knob at the bottom. And you just turn it. There we go. Let me just tighten it up. It's taking 20 years to tighten it up, but it'll get there. All right. Got the speakers tightened up. adjust it to whatever it is you kind of do here. Okay, now we're not done. Got some more goodies in here. I got get a little microphone in here. You get your XLR cables. You got one XLR. That'll go to the other speaker. Or just to your microphone. It goes to this microphone. I'm sorry. It goes to this microphone because the microphone should have XLR input at the bottom. It's a dynamic mic that you can turn all the way up and just, you know, plug your microphone right in here. And then you could be like, I'm DJ Tony, hood handyman, whatever. <laughs> I know that sounds corny, but it's real though. All right, so that's it. I'll do a part two of this video. Get all the stuff hooked up. Show you the function. Show you the how to use the EQ and everything. So if you like this video, you need some good monitors, budget monitors, church. Uh, you want to just starting out as a DJ, anything. Just go to Rockville.com. Rockville.com. Y'all, I couldn't stop doing this video without showing y'all how these speakers work or letting you listen to them. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play some music. All right, what I'm going to do, I played some Lil Wayne and some other songs, but I don't want to deal with copyright infringement or none of that crazy mess. So I'm going to play one of the songs I made, made. And the name of the song is called... I made a song called Drum Fusion, and I'm gonna see how you like it. I'm, I'm debuting this song while I'm checking these speakers out, so let's 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 check it out.
also lets me know a few things I need to work on as well in the uh, mid range but you know I'm satisfied with these speakers as far as the bass line and just that deep bass that deep uh, as far as if you're looking for some bassy speakers I mean these are only eights I tried to get the tens and I just couldn't get the tens but I can tell with the range that it's probably not gonna be the most bassiest speakers in the world if that's what you're looking for but as far as playing something to get some treble out of it and DJ and stuff like that or definitely I wouldn't recommend them for you know mastering a song but you know I got speakers for that but these are good for what they for what they uh, for what it's for what it's worth so uh, you can get these monitors around 219 for the pair you get the stand you get all that you get the EQ you get a remote microphone you get everything so uh, it's not bad but uh, this is uh, Grind Time Media Hood Handyman. Please like and subscribe. I'm out.